Hello everybody, I'm BC and welcome to another episode of Nomads. As a lot of you know, one of the best things about Planet Nomads is the ability to build just about anything you want. Whether it be a, a base design you want to build, you want to try out a different type of flying machine, or if you just want to recreate something. And that's what today's episode is about, is a couple of recreations I saw in the workshop I thought I wanted to check out. Some of them are interesting, some of them are really cool, and one of them is definitely something way out of the park. So the first one we're going to check out today is Bulldog by the Griffin. Build time, 1 minute, 2 seconds. It's a replica, a replica bulldozer, and it actually works. I've tried it out. It doesn't really take out the boulders too well, but it's definitely good at taking down a tree, and I'm sure it can handle a good deal of work too. Uh, light ground vehicle, 10 wheels, uh, weighs about 5 tons. Uh, so there's the size, deuterium powered, speed 55k, which isn't bad. Uh, like I said, it can definitely take take out a tree or two. As you can see here, it's good for harvesting of both trees and animals and small rocks, even the little little twigs and whatnot. Uh, single switch on the back of the body, yada yada yada. There's a cost, relatively cheap. I, the only thing I really see that would be expensive would probably be a level two composite and reinforced frames. So let's check it out. And here it is. Uh, it's, as you can see, it sits really low on the on the ground. I have it in the flats here, just just in case. I don't really know how much clearance that bucket's gonna have. I have gotten stuck a few times. But anyways, let's load it up and go for a drive. I guess it helps if I turn it on, like always. Oh, let me uh, get off the wheel here. Hit the old button in the back, which I really like how they put it in there, because that's usually where a hitch pin goes. If you ever get a pull, uh, kind of weighted some weight. And what do you know, there's a bush right in front of me. No problem. Turns it to mulch. Except it doesn't doesn't allow me to steer after I hit it. I'm sure I'll take out these crystals, no problem. The suspension is a little on the spongy side, but that's eh, not too bad. Now what would be really cool is if they actually implemented a resource collector. You can all like if the miners actually worked on uh, like biomass, you'd be able to just drive right up to the trees and just mow them down, chop them up into biomass, or even, even like the boulders here, and drive up with a set of miners on the front of this thing and just hammer right into it. Oh, it did break it. Ooh, I tried that one over there earlier and that didn't quite do it. Uh, I'm sure it'd definitely take out some blocks if we had block damage, and of course, you know, me, I get the thing stuck. Let me unstick it. Unsticking is complete. So yeah, that is the Bulldog. It is a really interesting design. I'm actually curious what would happen if we tighten up the suspension here. Okay, so brings right up. But to get that back end up a little bit more, you might be able to get a little digging in the ground, but then you'll probably end up getting stuck. So that is that that is bulldog by the griffin uh, you can check it out in the steam workshop there'll be a direct down link direct download link in the description to check it out for yourself and don't forget to swing by and leave a good comment for the griffin next up is going to be the first of two sub submissions by uh, lord shadow i didn't realize he actually i actually had two of his builds in this one um, but anyways, yeah, it's a, it's a working truck and trailer with a articulated hitch pin there. Uh, it does not disconnect yet, but I uh, mentioned to him there's a challenge going on in the, in the community about making a working trailer hitch, so this would be a good build for it. Uh, build time, 2 minutes, 7 seconds. Slow, but doesn't do hills very well. I did make it a few adjustments. Uh, he didn't have the wheels powered in the back, and uh, I had a it was like speed in the front torque in the back or vice versa but i do have it running at good speed right now uh mostly just for fun he says but it's a little more than just for fun now and there's a price there. it's not too expensive again not too many parts except for the quantum electronic parts and here it is and i gotta admit really good attention to detail on this one when i first saw this like it looks realistic he's got the the pipes here on the engine using the conveyors, you got the smokestacks and everything in real good detail on the front of the cab with the, the small blocks. It's got the, a couple of large containers there, so it's hauling a pretty good amount of weight. Uh, I did, like I said, change a few things. I got them all set to torque now and uh, the back wheels are turned off. But it runs at a significant speed, which I'm actually impressed. And again, one of the things I like about this, like about this game is how 
the the mechanics of the functional blocks work like the rotating plate it works just like a swivel point but as you can see we are getting a fairly good speed going it's I think we, I was getting almost up to 30 kilometers an hour uh, hasn't apparently had good luck in the hills but we are gonna we're gonna check that out because we got some dunes coming here and I got cut on another tree so we shall get there soon uh, in case you don't aren't aware of this the game the wheels in plant nomads work a little differently than wheels in most games or in, in most cases real life uh, the arrows there are telling the game to move the vehicle in a certain direction that's why we're we don't have any traction as you can see we're actually sliding a little bit on the hills so the, what you're seeing when the, the wheels are turning is it's just an animation but it's telling the game to move the vehicle in this direction depending on how many wheels are touching the, the ground at what settings and how much power and all that stuff but it's did pretty good got up to about this point and I think that's about as far as I'm gonna get with this thing but that is truck and trailer by Lord Shadow really good design I really hope to see more work from him because he's got some creative thinking I wouldn't even mind seeing a big project from him but anyways, on to build number two, which is a stealth jet, also by Lord Shadow. Uh, build time, almost two, two minutes. It's got four missiles and five Gatling cannons. I, oh yeah, the Gatling cannons are actually here. I'll show you those in a minute. He took a night shot. Uh, unfortunately, the, the under lighting didn't show up in the picture, but it's a really nice thing. Vertical, it's a VTOL sort of thing. It's a little bit wobbly. I uh, had a bit of a discussion. I was chatting with him about it. It's just basically the center mass is just a little bit too high, and he tried to change it a little bit, but it kind of ruined its look. So we're going to keep it like this. But, anyways, uh, there you go. Once in the, once in the air, excellent speed and handling. It does turn really good. I'd like the aerodynamics to be a little more realistic, you can call it, but then we don't have it, actually have aerodynamics. But, anyways, uh, three power switches black is the main power, blue is the main engines, yellow is yellow. Yellow is the lights. There, uh, there is switch. The switches are actually underneath the the craft, so it's got to be up in the air to access them. Yada yada yada. And there's the cost. It actually uses quite a few of the quantum electronic parts. I'm not exactly sure, but that doesn't matter because it's all about looks on this one. And again, really, really good job. You can sort of see what that wobble. Basically what's going on is the center of mass is right about here where the air blades are. I'll just show you that here quickly. Oh yeah, I got center mass turned off. So it's basically there, about the same line with the, the actual lift. So when you're going up and down, it does want to sort of lean to one side or the other. So we got Gatling cannons there, there, a big old Gatling gun on the front there, and the makeshift missiles. And then what I'll do... I'll lift it up a little bit and show you where the switches are. Well, let's get out of here. And it does look good. I, I like that. Oh, that's not my flashlight. I'm playing the wrong game here. L. Nope. F. There we go. S. F. There you guys. Have a nice trim in there. Uh, switches for if you were to set download or down here. Uh, the yellow one here is for the lights. And you can see we got this nice blue and this nice uh, black lit undercarriage. Now it's, it's a shame that there isn't an actual code to change it tonight. There is one to change the day in the console, but that is it. So this is the Stealth by Lord Shadow. And this is actually, flies relatively good. I haven't checked the actual height on it. Uh, game really doesn't like you going up and forth at the same time. And now you can see what's going on here when you're ascending and descending you're supposed to you're supposed to take your time or else this will roll unfortunately but anyways uh, here, let's go for it it's a shame we can't fire the missiles yet and I say yet because it will happen one day somebody will make it happen if not me I'm sure somebody will let's get in for a little closer look here Again, nice attention to the details and the curves. And 
Such a sweet little thing. And people people say that I'm creative. No, no, no. Uh, this, this person has got some definite creative talent, that's for sure. Well, there we go. That is the Stealth Jet by Lord Shadow. Um, keep an eye out for uh, version 2. Um, you may be looking at having to make another one just to make it a little more flyer friendly. And yeah, uh, again, there will be a link in the description for this one. You can check out the, check them out in the Steam Workshop. You can also check out the truck and trailer too because I've got to mention about that. And, and leave him some good comments. He's already had a few already. I'm going to make his day. Anyways, finally, is something you probably saw at the very beginning. Uh, it's by a Chinese creator. Uh, I have loosely translated It's basically long sword. And the description is a uh, giant flying sword that hangs in the sky. As you can see, it's, it's a fair part count. It's about, I haven't done the actual count on it yet, but it's going to be about four to 4,500 4, 4, blocks. Uh, it does fly. There is some clipping with the air blades, but that's fine. I saw this right away. It's like, yeah, that's something I would do. But anyways, let's go check it out. Now, that's got to be the biggest sword I've ever seen. Blade could be a little, th could be a little thinner, but it's housing some really big air blades. But this is definitely a fun one. I like even the little emblem they put on the, the crest there for or the the handguard. Let's go check it out. Let's go take it for a spin. Now the question the question I'm sure a lot of you are thinking is, is if we run into it, go dilla with this thing, will we slice it in half? No, oh, we have a bit of an altitude change there. Uh, there we go. Uh, yes, unfortunately, there is clipping with the air blades in this game. Uh, it's a good thing. Yeah, it's a bad thing. Visually, it's a bad thing. It's a good thing when you're trying to hide things in areas where they shouldn't fit. It really tur turns really good. Too bad we couldn't bank it up, try to stand it up on the hill, but not much we can do about that. And I thought I'd just show this one because it's a uh, really big, really detailed build and it's got to be one of the most unconventional flying things I've ever seen in this game to date. But yes, this is Longsword by, I believe it was 12391119983 was her username. Uh, I will have, have it down in the description down below. For that. And also a direct download link. So yeah, I can check this one out. Maybe bug them to make a large shield to go with it. But anyways, yes, uh, longsword by one two three nine one 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 nine eight three, and there we have it. Four great builds showing just how creative you can be in this game. It really does show that there's nothing you can't build in this game if you got the imagination, or the idea, or the creativity to do something. You can do absolutely anything. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd show you the, uh, these ones. These are all fun builds. Don't forget to swing by Steam Workshop. You know, leave them a good comment, rate them up, uh, check out their builds themselves. Or uh, if you're not on Steam, again, the links will be in the download. The download links will be in the description below. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.